Hey everybody, it's your girl Sincerely Drew and I'm back today with another video. So as y'all can see from the time down below, today is the day y'all will finally be getting y'all room tour. I know we're halfway through the semester already, but I want to rush to get this video out at the beginning where everybody else was posting their dorm tours because I really just want to make sure the dorm was set up the way that I wanted to set up. So there are some things in here that wasn't shown in my dorm hall video, so I will be putting those out when we get there, but y'all I'm so excited. So let's just go ahead and go. Okay, so this is how it looks when you first come in the room, turn the light on. So as soon as you walk into the room, we have our welcome mat. It was moving all the time at the beginning of the school year, and I didn't like that. So there's like, if you look really close, there's like these grips on the bottom, and literally this does not move at all. So I really love that. And we put it on the inside of the room because, y'all, we tried to put it on the outside, and like within like a month or so within the school, somebody took it and I was not messing around with that. So I put it back on the inside and I like that because like if you're outside and you're trekking in dirt, the dirt doesn't come inside and I don't have to like clean as much. So yeah, that's why it's on the inside. Next to that, we have this box, really kind of ghetto looking, but it works a lot for us because sometimes our trash can gets full and we don't want to take the trash out. It's kind of like a holding spot for our trash. So we know our trash needs to get taken out. We put like the full bag over here and then like we do a new bag or whatever. Now we come over here. The next thing we have is this refrigerator. I know, yeah, white refrigerator, everybody hates it. But this is just what we got going on. We, our refrigerator actually is full. Both of us aren't on meal plans. So we have a lot of stuff in here. Most of this stuff is my roommate's because she doesn't have a mini fridge. So like kind of just that side of stuff is mine. And then of course the water pitcher we both share. And then that on the top is mine right now as well. So yeah, we have a whole lot of stuff. You know, we be eating, eating. And then our freezer is also full because like I said, we be eating, eating. So our stuff is kind of like all within here. Then on top of that, my roommate has her cereal boxes up there. We don't use those um, cabinets because we're both too short honestly for them and then you come over here we are legit the room with all the appliances then over here I have my stuff for my smoothies I don't use this as much because I really learned how to make them the right way then I have syrup for my waffles I have this thing that I use for my cereal but I need to put a new one in there and of course we have all our kitchen cooking utensils foil then we have our little dish drying rack over here. Then when you come over here, this is what we use for all of our spices. This one is my level, and then the other two levels are my roommate. Then we got our microwave. <laughs> On this one, we have our microwave right here. And I don't think we have anything up here. Oh yeah, my roommate has some Ziploc bags. And then when we come over here, this is kind of like our little pantry sort of mix of stuff. I use it kind of as a pantry, so we kind of have it split in the middle because like I said, both me and my roommate are short people. So doing the whole little like shelves wasn't gonna work out for us. So the left side is all of my stuff and the right side is my roommate's stuff. She has our plates, cups, mugs, all that stuff. And I have a whole lot of my food that I don't want to keep in my room and then my waffle pancake mix, all that sort of stuff in here. And then we come down here. Then in this one we use mainly for our utensils, knives, spoons, forks, all that sort of stuff. Can openers, um, measuring spoons, cups, wooden spoons. We have our oven mitt, ice cream stuff. Just everything, apple cutter, fruit cutter, all that sort of stuff. And then I think my roommate has stuff down here. Yeah, so she has like some juice. I don't think we have anything in all these other ones. I didn't really feel like cleaning none of these. That's why I didn't put nothing in it. My roommate has some paper goods down there. We just have some cleaning supplies, as well as just these little rags that we keep there, really for decoration. 
Then I bought this from Ross. This was something I got later on just because I didn't really like that water was getting on the floor and just getting dirty. So I put that right there. So, you know, sink, all that cleaning supplies over there. Then we have the two bar stools that come with the room. Don't mind that stuff over there. That's my roommate's mail. And this is my roommate's room. I will not be showing my roommate's room in this dorm tour video but if y'all want to see it let me know and i'll ask her of course i'm not gonna invade her privacy nothing like that but if y'all want to see it i will definitely ask her so let me know down below if y'all want to see it her room is set up a little bit differently and she has like different colors it's really cute so just let me know now when we go further into the room because of how everything is this year we don't actually have any people that come over so we didn't do too much with our living room space I have one of my rugs that I got, which I kind of wanted to put in my room, but it's out here for right now. I don't know, it might go in my room one day because I just wouldn't be able to walk around our room with no shoes on, honestly. So that's what we have right there. Then my roommate brought this little container, which is really cute. We put candy in here just for visitors or just for ourselves if we ever need something. So yeah, then we have the couch that comes with the room. The other couch that comes with the room, we have some jingle over there that we use when friends come over. Then this box, some that my roommate put over here just for like extra snacks if anybody wants them. And then just some other stuff. And then we keep our trash bags under there, which is really convenient because our trash can is right there. So it's just easy to dip in and out. Then we have our curtains that y'all saw in my dorm hall video. Don't ask me why that is bent. I have no clue. Um, I was supposed to ask my roommate about it a hot second ago, but honestly, I just forgot. So, yeah, but TBD, I'll let y'all know. When I figure out, I'll let y'all know. Because, yeah. <laughs> so, we don't have anything over here. We don't have a TV or nothing out here. Both me and my roommate have our own TVs, so we didn't really put anything out of here. It's not really a point in it. Then over here, we just have our air conditioning and heating stuff. Then we have some lights. Oh, and I didn't show y'all this either. So when y'all walk in the room, we have a door over here, which is kind of like your coat closet. They say it's like a pantry, but it's not like shelves in here for a pantry. So we just keep a whole lot of miscellaneous stuff. This is my bin. I use this. There's like a lot of cooking stuff in here that would usually go in the cabinets, but like I said, I didn't want to clean all those cabinets. So I just left them in here. I have bowls, strainers, everything I need to cook or clean pans, um, more sponges when it's time to do those. So I just keep them in here when I'm done cleaning them. And then of course I have my mop, my broom, vacuum, just everything to clean. Then my roommate also has some cleaning supplies on this side as well as some snacks and some boxes for storage. Then on the top here, um, this is where we keep some of our other snacks that don't fit into any other places. So this side of stuff, all of this from like the bag over is on my roommate's stuff. And then those cereals over there that I need to refill back up again, those are mine. And then the ironing board is my roommate's as well. So that's kind of what we keep in there. And hey, y'all. Finally. For everything I've been waiting for, we are going to go into my room. I am the room over here that's closest to all the light switches and the air conditioning and heating unit, all that. So let's go. Bye. When you come into the room, I have my ring light that y'all have seen in my newer ring light review unboxing and all that. I will link the video in the iCards for y'all. Then I have this box. It's really off brand. It's really off everything in the room. But um, since a lot of people aren't here, I did want to try a new hairstyle, so I bought some wigs. It's also the box that I use when I go back home just to move different things from home, coming here. And I go home pretty frequently, so there isn't really a need to put that up anywhere because I use it a lot. Then I have my black queen on the wall. These two things I got from Walgreens. I made them, created them myself. I didn't make that picture, but 
I put everything together myself. And the frames are from Walmart, I believe. Let me know if y'all want a video on how to do DIY wall art because I was not trying to pay a whole lot of money. But I love this definition of a black queen, so I had to put that up because you gotta remember who you are, keep the crown up. Then over here, I have this little ledge thing that my dad made for me. It's just like two pieces of wood, and I put the air freshener up there. It's just an automatic air freshener, make the room smell good. So it's just up there so that like it's not in my face or anything. Then over here I have my hook organizer, whatever. So I keep whatever mask I'm wearing for the day right here. And I have my jump rope if I wanna go outside and jump rope. Of course I have my dirty clothes. The bag is a little big. Please excuse it. I'm going to be washing my clothes today it is wash day for me. So I have my like jackets that I use all the time when I go to work over here as well as some bags over here that I use when I don't want to use my book bag. And then over here I also have Hustle Grind Execute. These ones were printed from like just my regular house printer and the frames are actually from the dollar store. Do not sleep on the dollar store. I really love these because it brought in the accent of gold that I have going on in the room. Then under here, I have some mango nectar. Then in these organizers, I'm not gonna show it to them because y'all kinda already know. Nothing has really changed from last year, so those organizers are pretty much the same, just more stuff, but more the usual stuff. Then, just to go in the closet, not to go into depth or anything, I have the over the door organizer that I put a whole lot of just random stuff in. Then I have my clothes. Over here, I keep extra snacks, some extra jeans. I keep my paper products for my bathroom in there. My step ladder, because y'all know I'm short. <laughs> so I need that. And then up here is uh, where I keep all of my snacks. Or so like my roommate keeps hers um, in the kitchen. I keep my snacks that like don't attract bugs or anything out here. And then like extra snacks, bags for when I move back and forth. So yeah. I really like this bathroom with both of the lights. Y'all already know I put the bath mat rugs that are purple in here. You have the trash, trash can. Then I just have all the usual regular things that you would have to wash your face in the morning, at night, brush your teeth, all that good stuff. I keep my face towel right there for when I'm done washing my face. And I have my towel. Then in here I have my shower mat because you just don't know who's been in here before. And of course I have all my stuff over here that I need when I'm showering. And then a cute touch, y'all, that I was not expecting to find. I actually got these from the dollar store, y'all. Yes, the dollar store be having stuff. Do not sleep on them because I was not expecting to see that. I was just going there for like regular stuff. And I was going there for my frames, for everything else. And I saw those and I was just like, it's really cute. And it's on brand with all my colors, my gray, my gold, my white, all that. And then the fact that also those two are like bathroom sort of thing. I really felt like it was really cute to keep in the bathroom with everything else that I had. So now, you come over here, I have my full body mirror, the same one from last year. You see me, you see the fit, you see me, okay. Then I have these pom-poms. I just love pom-poms, love to get pom-poms. It just looks really cute. Then over here, that's my hook where I keep my key on when I'm not out the room just so I don't forget it when I do need to leave then I have some pictures of myself that I really love and the gold dogs that my friend that my roommate's friend from last year made and I just really love the way she writes so I've kept that up there since last year then over here is my desk where I do some studying not really studying but more like reading for tests and all of that so I have my umbrella because I'm just not the person that you're gonna catch in the rain with not with like out an umbrella or rain boots. So that stays by the door because you never know. Then I keep my shave. Then this tapestry I got from Amazon. My dad actually um, put this on a piece of wood so it could like stay up because it wasn't just staying up on the wall regular. And then if you could see really close, they're like some command hooks back there and it just works perfectly fine. And I love it because my colors for my room are gray, purple with accents of gold. And I have like a little bit of black in here as well this year. So I just thought this was really perfect for my room. And I always get compliments on it whenever people see it in like FaceTime videos or anything like that. I really liked how with my wall art, every place had a different thing. So like I have my hustle grind execute over there. 
Over here is my black queen because it's probably where I'm going to be doing a lot of videos. And then over here, I really want to have my whole relationship with God stuff over here. I it's a it's a big part of my life. It's something that I've always been doing since I was young. So this is very important for me to have my room. And I liked putting it right here because when I wake up in the morning, I could see it if I'm on my bed. I could see it. It's just a main constant reminder so I have God goes grind boss lady and then I have two mirrors please don't ask why I have a mirror up here I can't even see in it myself you can see me I'm not I'm short so I can't see myself up there but like when my brother or something like that comes in the room he's able to see him so and then I have God is within me I would not fail then y'all saw me build this in my move in video yeah so I really like this. I actually set it up a little bit different from the way it was in that video because I didn't really like the way that it was set up. And I bought more containers. I think I got this container from where? From Bed Bath & Beyond and these two from Walmart. And I just like keeping the snacks out here because like I told y'all before, I am short. So getting up to those snacks up there just wasn't gonna happen. So I keep my snacks up here and I usually have to like refill them up every now and then and it's just really cute so like I have my sweets right there so my smaller snacks right there and then y'all saw up here I keep like chips and popcorn and stuff then of course I have my PlayStation that I watch my Netflix YouTube Hulu all that on then over here you can see my dad streamline the cable cord because I am a cable watcher more than I am like on demand Netflix type stuff so that is actually behind my bed but it's just a long extension cord that he went all the way on the ground so it could connect oh and also i did make these as well from walgreens and the frames are from hobby lobby i believe on sale i have my mini fridge as well as this is where i like to keep my fruits and then i just got these cookies and then i got this brownie from work the other day in a lint roller and i do have a lot of stuff in my mini fridge like i said i do cook when I'm here and I don't have a car so I had to really stockpile up when I go home so I have all my ice creams right here I really don't like these I didn't know they were gonna taste the way they tasted and now I feel like I'm stuck with them but I have those over there some hot dogs turkey burgers broccoli some chicken behind that some more chicken over here some popsicles and yeah so it's pretty packed and then over here I have some Chick-fil-A that I got from work the other day. I have some water, some extra stuff, some more water. You know, the usuals. Then over here, this is supposed to be like your nightstand, your bedside table, but I didn't really like how low it was, so I don't, I don't use it as that. I just put it over here. This is where I keep my olive oil that I use for cooking, some extra salt for when I'm done with the salt outside the room, then my frying oil. And I also have a pack of water back there. Then behind that, I have an extension cord and another light just in case, just for lighting purposes with making videos and all of that. Then this drawer is my electronics drawer. It has like my tripods and stuff in there. Then y'all already know, you gotta stay stacked up with the sauces. Then under that, I have my, I have some straws. I use those for when I'm drinking my smoothies because my smoothies are a little thick and I don't want them falling on my face. So I have those straws. Then I have some napkins that are just easier to use instead of going all the way to the bathroom to get like a paper towel. I just have some napkins right here. Then I have my printer right here, which I haven't gotten to use because you know, everything's online. This is my air purifier. Don't mind if it looks dusty. That means that it's doing its job and it's just like the filter behind it as well. But I love this. I keep it on all the time on the highest setting because you're not trying to have no germs and no crazy stuff in your room. Next to it, I keep this Chick-fil-A cup and this other cup to fill up my oil diffuser. It just makes it so much easier because that little small thing, I would be going back and forth for like three or four times just for it. Then I have the hand sanitizer, which is running a little bit low. But since I have my own bathroom, it's very convenient for me to just go wash my hands compared to using hand sanitizer all the time. So I haven't um, replaced it with any of my other ones just yet. Then over here is my dresser and the top two is just regular clothes. This one I have, um, I think I have like blankets and all my reusable, not reusable, all of my hand towels, my body towel, my rags and stuff. 
And then this one is a more snacks. Not snacks, but like my food. So I have my rice over there. I have another box of oatmeal. I have these mug things that I actually won from another bingo thing. So I haven't gotten around to that yet. I have some fruit cups because I need to get my fruits in every single day. I have some tuna, some chicken, some soup. Then I also have some mac and cheese. Annie's mac and cheese is my favorite mac and cheese. So I just keep these stacked up. Then I have some corn and just some utensils if I'm ever trying to, if I ever need to go to work late and I'm probably gonna eat when I go there, I keep utensils for that so I can throw them away. Then on top of my dresser, I keep my oil diffuser as y'all saw before, lotion, perfume, deodorant, vitamins. I've been drinking out of this lately for my water. Um, I have my remote for my lights. I will show y'all how this looks at night later on. And then I have my PlayStation remote, my regular remote for my TV, my iPad, my favorite clock, and of course another like power strip sort of situation. Then when you come over here, I have the same trunk that I had before from last year, but just to, you know, make it look good, make it really flow into everything else from the room, I put this little kind of rug thing that I got from Ikea. In there is the same stuff from last year, so like cleaning supplies, extra bedding sheets, all of that. Then this, oh my gosh, y'all, I love this so much. Um, just like the way that I grew up, I just, we always had TV where we walk, where we ate dinner. So I love to watch TV or just watch anything while I'm eating dinner. So I don't eat dinner outside in the kitchen. I eat dinner in my room. And I was never allowed to eat dinner in my room before. So I didn't really know that there was a lot of crumbs that you get in your bed when you eat in your bed. And I just, it was disgusting. So I got this thing from Walmart, this tray, and it matches the room perfectly because it's like marble, and I have the marble over there. It's just really cute. And I would highly suggest getting this because the crumbs that you see on this, so much better than the crumbs that you would see on your bed. So most definitely, I would say invest in one of these as well. Now, I have my slides over there, so if I don't want to wear like my slippers, but it's cold outside, that's why I've been wearing these. But if I don't want to wear them, or if I'm like getting out the shower, I wear those. And then over here, I don't really use many of these drawers. Like there's stuff in it, but I don't really have to use them a lot. But I mainly go in here for my scissors and my tape for when I need to open anything. And then under here is where I keep my Tupperware. I have some extra, what do you call it? Some extra utensils in here, like actual, like the metal utensils. And I have my own aluminum foil in here, as well as some bags, some Ziploc bags, because I be cooking, so I need all that sort of stuff. Oh, and also y'all, I forgot to say this in earlier, but the chair doesn't usually come like this in the room. If you saw my video from last year, my dorm tour, you would see how it usually is. I didn't like it, it didn't look good. So I just put this um, blanket, this gray blanket over it, and my dad tied it under the bottom and it hasn't moved since the beginning of the school year. So this is what I put on the chair to make it look just a little bit better. Now y'all, I know y'all been waiting on this, so I've been keeping it to the end. But here is my bed. I'm really proud of the way that my bed looks this year. It's really cute. It has all the colors that I want in my room. So I have the black bed skirt. Then I have this bedding, which is like the marble, the gray, the different colors of gray. Then I have my pop of gold, which is my gold little um, blanket right here. Don't mind these. This is like my bonnet, my do-rag, all that sort of stuff. Where do y'all put y'all stuff during the day? I just keep mine on the bed because it's just really convenient. When I get back in the room, I can hop on the bed, put my stuff on, easy peasy. Then, of course, these two things came with the bedding set. And this, I got the cover from Amazon, and the inserts are from Ikea. And then this was from my bedding from last year. These two are from the bedding from this year. And then this is my own satin pillowcase from the beauty supply. And then when you come up here, I have my lights that I showed y'all earlier. I will show y'all how that looks at night, like I said.
and then we have our curtains so that is about it y'all let me just show y'all everything one more time I just really love how everything looks this year it's just it's it's really it's a vibe it's a vibe for me i don't know about y'all it's a vibe for me i just really love the way everything came together my walls aren't naked which it was at the beginning i had to cover this awful utility box under it and it's just everything looks just so much better this year i want to thank y'all so much if you made it to the end of this video my room has most definitely been a process. It just looks amazing. And I want y'all to follow me on social media just so y'all can see me a little bit more because of course y'all know I'm always posting on Instagram. I'll start to post more like personal pictures on Instagram recently. So make sure that y'all go and follow me on there at I'm Siri Dre. And remember to like this video if you like the decor that I use or if you just like the whole room, how everything looks. So if you got some inspiration from this, and remember to comment down below any other ideas video ideas that y'all want to see from me i know this time of year if you applied early action or early decision to uga or just to any other schools you're probably getting your like acceptances around this time and the regular decision will be coming up within the next couple weeks and months so just let me know if you're an incoming students to uga or just an incoming students to any other college let me know what y'all want to see down below i will be doing a little series coming up with like things that you should do things that you should know about UGA as well as other schools. So just let me know if y'all want to see a certain dorm room or how the style is in a different dorm hall, let me know. I will ask, I know a lot of people on campus, if you're if you're a boy and you wanna see how boys do them, I can let y'all know. I do know some other guy YouTubers here at UGA as well. So I can let y'all know about them and direct y'all over to their videos. And remember that I love you guys. And my name is Sincerely Dree and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.